The new U.S. administration of President Joe Biden has announced that it will continue to enforce the so-called Caesar Acts against Syria, pushed through by his Republican predecessor, Donald Trump. But uh, both the Syrian government and people have stressed they will continue to resist the U.S. sanctions just as they have managed to confirm the terrorist war imposed on their country. Our correspondent, Hicham Wanus, brings us more details. Children are the future of the country. They are human potential that, despite the ravages of almost 10 years of foreign-imposed terrorist war, remain attached to their homeland and determined to regain its splendor and to develop their creativity and innovation in defiance of the U.S. economic terrorism that plagues their country. This was demonstrated by members of the Syrian Pioneers Organization through an artistic exhibition of works and handicrafts that they themselves produced as a tribute to the Syrian Arab Army and President Bashar al-Assad. What has been presented by the senior members of the Pioneers Organization in this event constitutes a message of defense against terrorists and the current economic war that plagues their country, demonstrates their creativity and determination to continue producing despite all the difficulties caused by the war, to rebuild their country and preserve the victory achieved by our brave national army. Through this event, we ratify that all of us, children, adults and seniors, identify ourselves with our brave army and our president Bashar al-Assad, and that despite all pressures, we will remain steadfast, children and adults alike, ready to offer what is most valuable in defense of our homeland and our soil. At the same time, the first Syrian Economic Forum meeting was held in Damascus, an event organized by the National Center for the Promotion of National and International Investment, and whose main objective is to find practical solutions to the difficult situation the country is facing due to the Western economic blockade, an initiative that is being developed with the support of friendly countries such as Russia, Iran, and China, interested in helping the Syrian people to overcome the effects of the sanctions tightened with the so-called Caesar Act. We have managed to decode with the terrorist war and the political pressures, and we are currently coping with the economic war and through the center that we have established, we are striving to find economic solutions and the basis of boosting domestic and foreign investment, especially in terms of material and moral reconstructions. What we are seeking now is to reorganize, reorient and systematize the national human potential so that the current of this potential will be more active and more effective in the face of a current economic war. And this is a plan that we are developing locally with the help of our Russian friends. Efforts on the ground, the willpower of the Syrian people, as well as the numerous official and civil society economic initiative, have made it possible, along with the help of Syria's allies, to rehabilitate and start up more than 1,000 industrial facilities, specialized in producing pharmaceuticals, foodstuffs, and other basic necessities, a significant achievement that demonstrates Syria's determination to resist and emerge triumphant from the current economic war imposed by Washington and its allies. Hisham Wanus, Telesur, Damasco, Syria.